Hello everyone, my name is Eric Bach and today we're going to be discussing how to set up Tremble's R2 GNSS receiver with RTX corrections and use that inside Esri's collector for ArcGIS application. So we're going to start off with Tremble Mobile Manager. That's going to be our middleware app to configure the R2 RTX and the datum output. So when you start up Trimble Mobile Manager, the first time it's going to ask you to sign in with your Trimble ID, or also known as the TID. If you don't have one, there's a button in the software to create a free account right there. All right, we are going to start off by going to the menu icon in the top left corner. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go down to position source. Now I am going to change the default here from Trimble Catalyst to Trimble R series. And then you'll see my R2 is already in the list. If you didn't have it in the list, you can click on scan Bluetooth. So I will select that R2. And then we are going to now go down to GNSS configuration. All right. In order to use RTX, the correction source or the GNSS correction source is going to be set to auto. And then my GNSS output, I want my data to match my GIS data that's in NAT83 2011. So instead of using the RTX reference frame, which is ITRF 2014, we are going to change that to select from list. And then I'm going to click on the drop down next to frame, and I'm going to look for NAT 83 2011. We're going to select that. Now, if you want to do mean sea level elevations, you would also choose a geoid model. I've had it running in the past, so I already have it. geoid 18 cone is selected. But you would just go down the list here. You would find your geoid model. You would select it. It would download that model and store it on your data collector. In this case, I'm running a Trimble TDC 600 Android data collector. All right, so that is our settings for outputting NAT83 2011 coordinates with a geoid model to collector on my Android platform. And what I'm going to do to test this is I'm going to go to the Home button, and I'm just going to slide on the Connect to R2. Now, since it's on that Auto Hub, it's going to also start off with SBAS. Those are the two corrections that it starts off with in order to use the RTX and the SBAS. So we'll give it a second here to find itself for RTX, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So once RTX kicks in, you just want to verify your accuracy. Now my R2 today is sitting right outside my window, and the roof of the second story is blocking it. So my accuracy is not going to get down to a centimeter today. But we're going to come down here and go to status and just make sure everything looks correct. So we see our arithmetic heights there. We see our horizontal and vertical precisions. And then the main thing I want to look at here is the GNSS source reference frame, so that's RTX, and then that I'm outputting it into this NAT83 2011. So that is all good to go. So I'm just going to go back to home, and now I'm actually going to turn off the Trimble R2. We don't really need to configure anything else in here. The settings are there. We're now going to spin up Collector for GIS. Now this is the latest version for Android that came out. It's also known as Aurora, but now it's been published out. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to my profile. And we're going to set up our receiver. So first thing we need to set up is scroll down here under location. And we're going to click on provider. And I'm going to click on the plus to add provider. And there's my Tremble R2. If you're ever wondering like what this long number is next to the R2, that is the actual serial number. If you look at the bottom of the R2, you'll see this same serial number. I always go off the last four digits. So in my case, it's just a quick way to look up. And I've got the right one today. So. 1332 is my receiver. It's going to ask for an antenna height. Let's just say we're running this on our two meter rod. All right, and then now you'll see that it's still set to current as integrated. So in order for me to choose the R2, I need to select it and it'll actually put it up. Whoops, it'll put it up under current. I'm going to hit the back button. We're going to go down and set up the profile. I'm going to now click on the add profile button and it's asking me for the GNSS coordinate system. Now we set this up in Tremble Mobile Manager just a few minutes ago to NAT83-2011. But a quick way to get through these Esri coordinate systems, since there's a whole bunch, is just type in 2011. And make sure you grab this GCS NAD1983-2011. And I go with the 6318. I then hit Next. It asks for your map coordinate system. Since I'm using ArcGIS Online and the Esri base maps, 
I just type in web and make sure you grab WGS 1984 Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere. If you choose just the Web Mercator, you're going to run into problems uh, when connecting to the R2. So now I'm going to just zoom into North America. We cover the southern states here, so I'll just zoom into that. I'm going to hit next. And then typically the way this works is Esri puts the most, the one that you probably going to be using at the top in this case that is the one i'm using as far as my datum transformation so it's the wgs 1984 itrf 08 epoch to the nad 1983-2011 i'm going to select that hit next it's going to ask to give it a name and i'm just going to type in nad 83-2011 hit add now just like with the receiver, I need to change the default to this new one, so I just click on NAT 83211, and it puts it under current. Okay, now we're going to just back out here, and I'm just going to open up a project, and we're going to verify that everything's set up right. So in the top left, you'll see GPS accuracy. Again, my R2 is under the roof, so the accuracy is not going to be all that great, but I do want to point out that we're actually using this RTK fixed, we have our profile set properly, and everything is ready to go. All right, thank you for checking out our video, and just uh, reference our NEI GPS YouTube channel for more information. Thank you.